Hey, my name is Ryan, and today I'm unboxing Red Wing's newest boot, their Beckman. It's been gone for a couple years, and now it's finally back. So in this video, I'll unbox the boots, we'll do a deep dive into the boots, look at the quality control, I'll try them on, and then we'll go over sizing. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy. There is a ton of really cool history about the Beckman boot, and I'm not going to go into it right now. There's other YouTube videos that go into the history of uh, when what it's named after, when it first came out, when it went away, uh, the different styles it's been throughout um, the years. But go on Red Wing's website. They actually have this cool uh, four-page PDF really going into the history of the Beckman. But I always liked the Beckman because of the sole. And now they finally have it. So I've looked online for the Beckman on like eBay. Uh, but it's a little bit different from what you get with their new one, and so I thought I'd pick up my pair. So, this is cool. I've never had a pair of new Red Wings with dust bags, so that's kind of nice, and they even have the Red Wing logo, so this is supposed to be more of a dressier boot, or the hybrid boot, a dressy work boot, a boot that you can work in and then polish up and, you know, take out on the town, so it's kind of nice that they give you these boot bags. So let's see what the boots look like. Okay, this is my first time looking at this boot. And I got it in the cigar leather. I believe it's the 9422. And here is the boot, it looks really nice. What I really liked about the Beckman when I kind of fell in love with the Iron Ranger, and I fell in love with boots after it was discontinued, but I love this half sole here. I love where you can see the leather sole and then the rubber half sole. They have this really cool cord retro inspired soles. And then we have the boots. It's a gusseted boots. Nice laces. 9422. And I was worried because I have seen on eBay there was some boots that were like maybe they were tester boots, Beckman boots that were sent out to be worn but before they went into production, maybe pre-production. And a couple have popped up on eBay and inside they have, oh, got some more laces. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. But inside they had a pour-on footbed. So it was kind of had me worried about what the footbed of the Beckman was. Was it like a Red Wing Iron Ranger where it's a thick veg tan insole? Or was it like the Iron Ranger with the wedge sole that has this, you know, the new pour on type of insole, but as you can see, well you probably can't, I'll flip the camera around in just a minute, but it is a full veg tan insole. So this is what the boots look like. I'll flip the camera around and we'll go over, I'll lace them up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just show you what the boots look like. And I'm gonna go over them with the camera, but I'm not gonna talk about the quality control. I don't wanna, you guys can make your own opinion about the quality control of these boots. My last video had a lot of comments, kind of negative and positive about my thoughts about the quality control. And that's, you know, what I think doesn't really matter. I'm gonna let you see it in just a minute, but here's the Beckman. I got the 12D, which I normally get in Iron Rangers, and they look a little small, but we'll go over sizing in just a moment. The first thing we can talk about is the leather on the boot. We can see it's a more refined leather, but it's their uh, Excalibur leather, which is supposed to be a little bit more of a dressier leather, more oils packed in. It is a pulled up leather, so really, really nice looking leather. I think it's gonna be, um, it's gonna age nicely over time. And one thing that kind of popped out to me when I unboxed this was the hardware. The speed hooks are a little bit more robust than you normally get. This is a really strong speed hook, so I really like that. And then the Beckman has the roll, rolled collar, and then of course the cool sole with the cord sole kind of a half sole with this neat retro inspired sole. So what I'm gonna do for a second here, I'm just gonna kinda go over the boot, let the camera speak for itself so you can see what the quality control looks like on Red Wing's newest heritage boot.
I told you I wasn't going to give you my opinion, but I actually am going to give you my opinion because I think it's pretty good. You know, it's it's not perfect. The Red Wing isn't supposed to be the most refined boot in the world, uh, but for a handcrafted boot here in the U.S., I think it's good. I, I like it. There's nothing wrong with this boot. It is well built. If you have experience with Red Wing, you're going to see that the quality is good. You know, it's a good quality boot, a good quality leather, nice thick leather. It's an unlined shaft of course it's lined in the toe and let's dig deep into the insole real quick so there you can see the insole it is that nice thick veg tan insole which is cool because this boot is a little bit more than the iron rangers and technically you're getting a little bit more with it because you're getting the thick veg tan insole that you get with the iron rangers but you're also getting the midsole now what they've done here and i don't know if i'm a huge fan of this but i'm it's not enough to like complain about or give it back, but, oh, sorry. Looks like some dogs in the neighborhood are going crazy. It's a beautiful day, so I have the windows open. So of course, every dog in the neighborhood is gonna go crazy. Sorry, I just had to close the window. You have that nice thick insole and you have this outsole here that's pretty cool. And it is inlaid in, so it's sanded down. So it's not like the full thickness of the insole runs through the boot, but you do have a little bit more leather underneath your toes with this boot. So it is a little bit nicer than the Iron Rangers, but um, you know, really looks looks about the same quality, same build, nice looking boot. This cigar leather looks awesome. Now I'm gonna try these on and we're gonna go over sizing. And I'll just tell you this, I can tell by handling these boots that I made a huge mistake with sizing and that is my fault. That is my fault only. Red Wing should not be faulted for this because they plainly stated go true to size and I got my Red Wing size. I can already tell these are a little bit too small. So let's just see what happens. I'll put these on and we'll see how they fit. So these boots are not built on Red Wing's number eight last like their Iron Rangers, but they're actually built on the 224 last, which I believe is a newer last. And it's supposed to be a little bit sleeker but still have a nice toe bump, but not as bulbous of a toe as the Iron Rangers. Now on their website, in this last, they clearly said online, go true to size. And I have never gone true to size with any pairs of Red Wing boots. So I didn't, I got my normal size, which is 12D, and I can already tell that that was wrong. These aren't going to fit. I'll be able to get my feet in them, but they're not gonna be a well-fitting shoe. And this is my problem with Red Wing in my particular size, because since I'm a 13D, they would say, go half a size down in Red Wing, Iron Rangers, and I would do that, but they don't have 12 and a half. 12 and a half just isn't a size they offer, so I go to 12, and thankfully, I like a snug fit, so everything works out. Well, th with this boot, I can tell you right now, let's just see, let me quit yapping, and I put on dress socks just to get myself a best chance of making these work. Let's see if it's gonna work. So this is my smaller foot, my left foot, and with dress socks, it works. It's tight, a little bit too tight, but it does work. So this is the moment of truth with my right foot, because my right foot is bigger. You know, it, they fit. So this is, uh, this is my hardship with this boot. Like with my dress sock, they fit. They say true to size. So that would be 13 D for me, or just 13 with Iron Rangers or with the Beckman. But 13 would be too big. What I really need in this boot, what I believe is a 12 and a half. And they just don't make a 12 and a half. They make a lot of half sizes, but when they get up to 12, they stop there. But if I wear these with dress socks like this, then I can make them work. Sorry, you got, here are my house shoes. That's embarrassing. Let's get those out of there. Okay. So I can make these work how they are right now. But if I tried a regular sock on my, one of my work socks or even wool socks for the winter time, these would not work. But let's check out how these look on foot. I mean, they look great. 
They look great. They feel great. Put these dress socks on. They're just a really nice looking shoe. Yeah, it's a lot sleeker than the Iron Rangers. It's not quite like the Weekender boot where there's a lot less volume in the toe, uh, but it's just like a little bit, makes it a little bit dressier, but I still think you could uh, wear this on a job site. So I think overall, it's a gorgeous boot. The quality control is awesome. Now this is an expensive boot. So this boot costs $400. So that might be Red Wing's most expensive boot to date. And after tax, you're looking at 420. But what you're getting, you're getting a, you know, handmade boot or a, a boot made in America, I should say. You're getting that thick leather insole. You're getting even a leather midsole. That awesome outsole. A nice leather, a little bit nicer quality of a leather, and just a really, really beautiful boot. So I do think it is absolutely worth the money. Let me show you what I see from my angle so you can see what this last really looks like. My angle on the last, you can see that the top of the welt is colored to look like the boot. So there isn't really a contrast there. That gives it a little bit of a dressier look, especially from the top down. And then of course, with the eyelets and speed hooks, they are more color matched to the leather. So again, that gives you just a little bit more of a formal look. Really pretty boot. I, um, I'm i really having to figure out what I'm gonna do here because I'm not gonna go to a 13. I'm just, I'm not gonna buy a, a 13 and have a boot that's just too big most of the time. But this 12 is a little bit, a little bit snug. So what I would say is go true to size. That's probably your best bet. Don't get your Iron Ranger size. Go a half size up from your Iron Ranger size. That's my expert sizing advice for the Beckman. It is a sleeker last. Hey, my house shoes showed up again. Sorry. It is a sleeker last, so you're not going to be able to just get the same thing you got with your Iron Rangers. But other than that, it's a gorgeous boot. Highly recommend it. Do think it's worth the money. Just check it out and you won't be disappointed. And I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe if you found it at all entertaining and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.